I think I might have a leak. Let's turn the water on and see. Yep, believe I do. See if we can find it. Let's uh, get this access panel out of the way. Let's look under here and see if we can see it. Looks like it's that T right there. Yep, it's that T. Uh, hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Uh, we're gonna be fixing a leak under the house obviously today. Uh, we're gonna turn this water back off. I'll let the system drain back down uh, before I get underneath there. Now, uh, here recently we had a, uh, down here in Louisiana, we got below freezing. We got down in the teens, actually, which is very unusual for around here. And uh, yeah, like every good southern boy and girl should do, I dripped my faucet. But evidently, some time or another, the water got turned off and we, we froze up solid. Our uh, water lines froze up all across the whole front of the house here. Yesterday, I got underneath there and replaced all the piping because it was just shattered. As a matter of fact, here it is right here. This is what happens when your water line freezes. So, got all that replaced yesterday and uh, sometime last night, another place decided to, to pop loose. Um, let's go see what happened. So, looks like the T, the glue joint on the T just came loose is what it looks like so now me being the amateur uh, the professional amateur DIYer plumber that I am I could just glue that back together and it might hold it might stay it might not leak but I'm not really looking for might I'm looking for gonna it's gonna hold. So I'm gonna cut back this, uh-oh, technical difficulties. So I'm gonna cut back this way just a little bit, put a coupling in right there, and uh, so I can have a good fresh glue joint. I could probably clean that up and reuse it, but I just won't ever trust it. So, anyway, uh, let me show you how I determined yesterday that I didn't have any leaks but for some reason this one popped loose later in the night so we've been without water for two or three days now had water for a little bit yesterday but it wasn't good enough so you can look at your uh, look at your meter out by the street if you don't know um, and uh, determine whether you have a leak or not let me show what I'm talking about See how none of the little spinny things are moving? Let me show you what it looks like when it's got a leak. See how all the spinny things are moving now? That means you got a leak. So if you come out here and you got everything turned off inside and you see movement like that, you got a leak. It's time to start looking. All right, and we got the water turned off. Uh, we're gonna let this thing drain down and uh, let it get all the water out of the pipes. <clears throat> and then we'll see what we can do to fix it. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have a cup of coffee while it's doing all that in a bit. So like I said earlier, the um, I re-piped re almost the entire front of my house yesterday. Didn't do any video on it. Uh, my wife asked me, why didn't you do a video on it? I said, well, I just didn't want to have to drag my cameras and all that kind of stuff underneath the house. And uh, evidently, the YouTube gods thought it would be a great idea for me to do a video on this. So here we are, uh, because they gave me another opportunity. Uh, so I'm fixing to uh, go get, on, get as far under the house as I have to. Uh, now I'm gonna, before we get started on this, I understand 
that there are a plethora of problems underneath my house. I live in a historical home, and uh, by historical, what I mean is a pain in the ass house. And uh, we're slowly but surely fixing problems. We've got insulation problems. None of the pipes are insulated. These are things we have to fix. Uh, when we have time, we'll, we'll get to them. Uh, but for now, I just gotta make sure that we have water to shower, water to cook with, and water to drink. So um, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cut this line back about six or seven to eight inches whatever that way it gives me a nice clean spot for gluing like i said i'm not looking for might hold i'm not looking for should hold i'm looking for definite so i'm gonna prime this purple primer so it's clean and I'm supposed to put this on everything and let it dry. I'm gonna reuse this old tea. I hope that's not a mistake. Get as much water out of it as I can. All right, we're gonna dry this off best I can. That dried off. The primer and the glue will hold better. This dried. Trying to do this without causing any stress on anywhere else. So we don't have another leak after I'm done with this. Put some primer in there. Still leaking, but still got water coming out. Get it up there where that water will stop. Let that dry. Let's go ahead and prime this other side. glue I have is blue glue which is supposed to be rain shine you should be able to use it on wet pipe but I just want to keep it as dry as possible anyway all right so I have the piece that I cut out I'm just gonna cut this about the same length a little bit shorter make room for the coupling It is all PVC, so it's got a lot of play in it. Look dry. Go ahead and uh, prime both ends so it'll be drying. Let that dry. Everything's a little wet because, you know, it's been raining and snowing and all kinds of stuff, and I've got water dripping on my head. Yeah, it's sitting fun. Prime this on both sides. Let that dry. All right, I'm using rain and shine blue glue uh, because uh, you know it's wet pipe, and uh, hopefully this will uh, this will help with some of that stuff and just kind of give it a chance to dry real good. And just lather it on there real good like that and that's pretty easy stuff and get a good whole bunch on there i'll go ahead and do the inside of my coupling too i'm gonna go ahead and stick this together out here let that dry real good all right so we've already got the other side primed um, and uh, ready for glue uh, so let's uh, let's get underneath there and see what we got to do. See if it's gonna work. All right, so we're gonna glue this Put some glue inside this coupling Go ahead and put some glue on the end of this pipe Stick it together 
give it a quarter turn. Hold it in place so it stays seated well. I've always been told to give them a quarter turn after you put glue on there and stick them on there. I think that's supposed to make a better seal and I won't have that option on this other side. So, all right, so that should have that. Put some glue on this part. And glue inside here. Put them together. Hold it for about 10 seconds. All right, now we're gonna let that sit. I'm gonna let it sit for about 30 minutes before I put any water on it uh, because I wanna make sure it's good and dry. I don't want it to pull loose again. Um, don't know if that's necessary, but that's what I do. Anytime I'll make a glue joint, I'll let it sit for about at least 10, 15, 20 minutes. I'm gonna let it sit for 30. I'm gonna set a timer for 30 minutes. And then we'll put some water on it, see what happens. All right, so it's been about 30 minutes, so let's put a little water on it. Turn the water on and see if it holds. All right, well, I don't hear any spraying, so that's a good sign. Let's see what we got. Put some light on it and take a look at it. Here's where I made the repair. Nice and dry, no drips. I don't hear any drips anywhere else underneath there. So let's give it a few minutes for the toilets to fill up because you know we've used every tank of water we have in the toilet. Uh, and we'll look at the meter and see if it's sitting still or not. Uh, about normal, I guess. All right, so I made a trip inside, and made sure all the toilets were filled. Uh, let's see if we got any movement on this meter. Uh, if not, we'll say we're good. No movement. So for right now, I think we're good to go. Uh, so, yep. Uh, that's how I went about repairing this leak. Um, now I've kind of got a double whammy today because uh, I had to fix a leak under the house and uh, now I get to go mess around with the DMV. So yay me, right? All right, hey, I hope y'all found, uh, found this video useful. Uh, if you enjoyed it, hit thumbs up, uh, subscribe to the channel. Anyway, all right, we'll see y'all on the next one.